Hello guys, RPM Designs. Uh, I decided to make a uh, follow-up on the uh, Asus ROG uh, saga. And uh, yeah, this doesn't look good. <laughs> they, uh, as expected actually, they fail to fix it and they fail to do anything. Actually, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't know. They just uh, don't give a shit about customers. It seems. Uh, yeah, in 2019, 18 or 19, I filed four, you know, of the uh, RMA or like issue uh, things on this and uh, on that forum, but yeah, it doesn't, it just, just, it's just full of shit. And uh, this is proof of it. I mean, look at it. So many, it's worse than ICU, it's, it's becoming even worse, it's not one page, no, this is 40 pages of issue with Armory Crate. This is simply uh, disgusting, this is just not how it should be, they, uh, they just, this, this is proof that Aces RG just does, doesn't give a fuck about their customers. Because they never fix it. They say, oh yeah, we make a new BIOS with a new uh, EC sensor, uh, firmware, whatever. Uh, but when I look in the BIOS, it's exactly the same EC firmware. So it didn't change. So they keep lying. They keep bullshitting. They keep, like, beat you around the bush. It's just fucking stupid. It's, uh, yeah, people need to stop buying ROG. Or ex uh, their motherboard, uh, well, actually... They don't invest their money in a good way, so why giving them any more money? I mean, the only thing I like about them at the moment are their monitors. And... But yeah, basically, it, 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 they're overpriced crap. I mean, there are better monitors out there, but... I don't know, I just like the design and everything, but it, it's the last thing I ever bought. I have the ROG Scabbard, the... Uh, Scabbard 2, the mouse pad, and they say, oh, it's spill-proof. No, it's all bullshit. It's not spill-proof. I have it for a couple of weeks, and it still stains, and it's full of shit, man. <laughs> I mean, I never... I mean, Steel Series is, uh, is, is just as bad as they, as them, but, yeah, it's very close. I mean, they're also full of shit. But anyway, SSRG is, is still the worst. And uh, I mean, 40 pages of issues and problems and just no answers at all from whoever. Uh, it's, it's this master uh, ROG. Uh, I contacted a lot of them, but they never answer anything. So, yeah. From 2018 or uh, uh, 19, uh, I, I did file some things there. I was also on the uh, uh, overclock.net. I worked with, well, not really work, but, you know, little, you can call it work with, but, you know, they provided some software, and I worked with the Stilt, I worked with Elmore, John Sandstrom from Aces ROG, and I worked with some other guys because of the sensor issues, and they all claimed, well, not all, but uh, hardware info, uh, Ada64, I was on that forum, uh, and they, both of them said the Asus doesn't do anything, they don't contact them in order to fix it, they don't do anything because they don't care, it costs too much money or something, I have no idea, they just don't care, and this is ridiculous, as a lot of people really need this piece of software, they really need it. So, yeah, this is not really um, how, how it should be. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is so ridiculous, it's beyond belief. 40 pages, I mean, let that sink in. 40 pages of issues people have... I mean, what the fuck, man? Uh, almost every single page has... Almost 40 pages. All of them are almost issues. Almost everyone. Yeah, even this guy. Same exact same thing. I was 
see high CPU usage and but they keep lying about it. SSRD is lying about it because a friend of mine actually um, I don't have the screenshots anymore. I I can ask them and I'll put them in the script description below maybe. But yeah, they said oh it's only like four or six. Uh, uh, processes which is totally wrong they lie because I tried this software and I had 20 20 processes running in the background and this program is just so bad that you cannot uninstall it like you know in my previous video you cannot I'm not going into all of that uh, this video is more like uh, they still don't uh, they don't give a shit about despite everything I tried my best to contact them, uh, they don't give a shit, uh, they don't answer, they don't do anything, they get bullshit answers, uh, yeah, they are my DNBL, that means do not buy a list, and if you like hardware, it should be on the same, I know I fall for them for a couple of times, because I li like the design, I like their motherboards, how they look, and what's the hardware and everything. But there's always something quirky with Asus notebooks and uh, motherboards. A friend of mine recently bought a $3,000 notebook. He only gets 40 to 50 FPS in Destiny 2 because of this program. Um, when he uninstalled it, he got over 100. I don't know what this software is supposed to do for a notebook. I have no experience with notebook, but as far as I know, and he told me, he's not techni technic, he's not as technical as I am. But he explained to me that, uh, yeah, that there was a, a piece, a, a, an, um, uh, you have like a turbo mode and you have an eco mode and all that crap, and um, yeah, that's how uh, how it works. But yeah, you cannot use that because it all everything is in Armory Crate, and yeah, they try they force people to use this er erratic piece of software, and which doesn't work, and you don't get any answers. It doesn't matter if you file an um, uh, you know report an issue. They don't give a fuck. They don't do anything at all. I mean, what the fuck, man? Look at this. Look at so many of this. Install using Armory Create Installer. <laughs> man, what? Look at all that. Look at that all. There's not a threat for general chat. Yeah, the. You can. I made my own chat. And you cannot even chat about it. So, on my thread, I mean, you're not you're not allowed to talk about Aces or their forum, whatever they call it, lambasting. I just call it criticizing them, and they don't like that. And I get that. I mean, if you're just inferior and people are calling you out, yeah, I can get you get. You know, I understand you can get mad, but that's that's really telling about a company like this, how they do business like this. But anyway, it's here, it's uh, like, <laughs> what the fuck? How are you supposed to understand that if you're not like very technical? For an example, I just bought my uh, laptop notebook and I have got this motherboard. I have the X470, it's an older one, but anyway, it still, it still functions, it has quirks, but you know, I learned to live with it. Soon I will have like a gigabyte board, which is like a million times better than this Asus crap, it's the last motherboard, but anyway, it's just, it's me being salty, but yeah, having issues, and if you want to, you go to this, and you read all this, how in the holy fuck are you able to understand all this? And if you just send you and if you send them an email, they're not helping you. If you're sending on this forum, they're also not helping you. They don't give a fuck. You're not getting any answers. Yeah, bullshit answers. Oh, if there is you, or just reinstall Windows. Yeah, okay. We have you have like for like uh, maybe a thousand uh, uh, a terabyte or two terabyte on on you know stuff on it. But yeah, just you know, in, man, 
It's just fucking stupid. Complete the online form, save a link to the form case. What the fuck? How are you supposed to do all that? I mean, I did it. I still didn't get any answer. I did it four fucking times. With proof and everything. With proof that the same erratic sensor is being used for years and years. And I got no answer. I, I know the solution. Withdraw the motherboards. Or just get the motherboards back. Place another sensor in it. Make a new BIOS. And that's it. Because I think it's the, the sensor. They cannot work with the sensor. They're inadequate. Just not capable of working with the sensor. Gigabyte is using the same sensor. Gigabyte the X470 or uh, whatever. Uses used uses the same sensor and it has no issues so yeah <laughs> it's just it's gigabyte man i mean they have their own issues maybe i don't know i i, I own three gigabyte boards i never had an issue really an issue with it a little bit of a quirk but yeah the, not as with aces aces is a quirky or buggy always something wrong with them it's nice for high overclocks but for everyday use, I would highly suggest to steer clear, avoid ROG like the plague, because it's just Republic of Gamers, no, Republic of, uh, yeah, whatever is with G that's, you know, rhymes with all that shit, it just doesn't work, it's just crap, I don't care what every, anyone says, I have experience with these boards, uh, this is the third board I actually have experienced with, the same issue I have. Uh, yeah, this is unacceptable. But yeah, this is, this is, you know, here. Issue, 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 issue. But I also try to, uh, I have my own thread. I made my own thread, but yeah, they don't give a shit, man. They really don't give a single flying fuck. And I have a conversation with this dude. As far as far as I'm concerned, this guy is even even worse. Because if you support a company that is behaving this way and still like working for them, in my opinion, it's worse. You're worse. So, yeah, I contacted him, and uh, I asked him, and. Uh, Not a single answer. No answer at all. He doesn't want to work with you either. I sent them a couple of emails. Uh, this guy is a fucking asshole. And uh, yeah, he's just uh, he's he's not worthy of of in any technical whatever. He's just a uh, fucking asshole. I asked him many times on the RZ forum as well, hey, uh, this and that, never answered me, give bullshit answers, this is the same, you know, overclocking enthusiast, yeah, well, go fuck yourself, man, this guy is a, a real badass, like, in a bad way, he's, he's just an asshole, this is not how you, uh, how you do things, January 21, it's like, significant amount of time, this was the last time I, um, Contacted Aces ROG. I will say if I can find people that actually want to file a class, a class action lawsuit against them. Uh, in the Netherlands, it's not possible, so it's it, it they wouldn't do anything. So, yeah, hopefully someone in uh, America or whatever is willing to do a class, file a class action lawsuit against them. And uh, as this is unacceptable, you know. So yeah, that's the. Uh, that's the shit. But it doesn't stop there. Recently there was a guy. Um, here, look at all the comments. It has 11k views. 11, 11,729 views. 175 likes. So many people liked it, saw it, and have... So many, how many comments are there? 250 comments. All of them have issues. 250 people commented on this. Oh, 
Well, this is the only one in the entire world that has no issues with armory crate. <laughs> Yeah, oh, he has like, but no, no, really is here, but yeah. Completely messed up the PC. Everything got just fucked up. There was a guy, he actually, uh, he needed to, uh, that's Dean here. I have no choice but to install it as a G15 owner. See? That's what I mean, man. You, what the fuck? You just ho hold people hostage. They buy your products because you, ROG is just like saying, oh, uh, all this marketing bullshit. And then people buying into it. Then you get rewarded with this. It's disgusting. It's very, very disgusting as far as I'm concerned. I have no good word over for them. Look at this. Look at it all. If you want to read it, just pause it and read it. But Look at it. 250. Look at it. Blah, 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 blah. It goes back a couple of months. This is just. Wow. Oh, 11 months ago. Holy shit, man. But yeah, this is just. Uh, yeah. Very sad that they choose to go this way. But uh, it's their opinion and it's their thing and uh, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, I'm not Aces, I don't work for Aces, I never will work for Aces. I'm never going to buy anything from Aces again because this is the last thing. I'm done, I had enough and uh, yeah, I mean, what, what else can I say? I mean, look at it here. This is just too terrible for words. It's just uh, very sad. Yeah, this this is all the crap. This is the. Uh, let me check if I. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people commenting on this forum. Nobody is going here anymore, I think. But I already contacted. Uh, I already contacted uh, some big YouTubers. And uh, but I haven't heard back and I don't think they will because they're getting paid by HSRG so these reviewers so called reviewers are just getting paid and, and in my opinion these, these guys are they're just you know they'd rather have a lot of money than uh, you know them to be clear and straight to the customers I, I personally I don't I don't give a fuck about reputation about anything. I'm honest. I'm always honest. I hate being I hate lying and being lied to. And Isis is exactly doing that. There's no money they can give me to shut up or whatever. There's nothing at all. So I'm th they they never contact me. But if they would, not even for a million man. I just I hate being lied to and all that shit. They lie to people. And these disgusting businesses need to stop. <coughs> so I hope a lot of people are actually standing up to them. Return your product if you can. Uh, yeah, just just return this shit. Or I mean, you can't even sell it. I don't know what to do with this port when I buy a new one, a new system maybe. But I don't think it's going to be AMD again because AMD has their own issues. But um, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think I will ever buy uh, Asus ROG again. And a lot of people actually returned it. I'm going to contact some retail stores. I have two retail stores in my country that stopped selling uh, the ROG boards. And less ROG, um, well, not really stopping, but are reluctant. And they know now what the issue was because they were getting all their products back and they say oh, I don't know what the problem is and the customers went mad and they returned it anyway and got their money back or bought something else and uh, yeah they never heard anything back so that's a good thing and uh, but yeah this this has to stop people I mean retail stores need to be uh, contacted about this shit because people keep returning and uh, yeah if you don't know what the problem is you know that's uh, that's very sad and you are one of the poor bastards that buy this ROG crap 
and you need that program, the R ASUS RLG Armory Crate, then you uh, <laughs> you enter a whole can of whoop ass on you, and you might encounter the chance is high. I mean, not everybody has issues. There are people that never have any issues. They're just built different. They have like the best luck in the world. But yeah, 99.9% .9 have issues. I mean, it's here. It's everywhere. So yeah. You know, that's the big problem uh, here, so they, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say anymore. This is my last video about this, and um, I'm going to, uh, yeah, or I let it go and just don't buy it anymore, or sell my stuff I have from RZ and buy it from someone else, and um but yeah, I certainly will contact some retail stores and ask them some questions about this because I'm 100% sure they encountered the same issue and they have uh, people coming back to them and do RMAs and whatever because of this software. So I'm gonna ask if they have any, uh, if I can get any answers at all. So that was it. This was the last time you hear me moan and complain about Asus RLG. I think I, I made my point. Uh, just don't buy Asus RLG. As of now, if they ever fix everything, then it's fine. But as of now, I cannot recommend it. Steer clear. Avoid RLG like the plague. Uh, if you build system for people, don't recommend this crap. It's just the chances is very high. 99.9% .9 you have issues. Weird quirks on Asus RLG motherboards. There's always something wrong with them. They never work. Uh, f uh, they never function properly. There's always something like when you reboot. Some settings may get lost, or they, they just this is full of shit. You cannot contact them if there's an issue. Uh, this is the last time I ever buy Asus ROG, so and it should be on your DNBL uh, also. So thank you guys for watching, and see you guys in the next one. Oh, if you like it, like and feel free to subscribe. I will make um, several videos. I try to do some reviews as well, and. Uh, yeah, I need some cameras for that, and uh, I need some other, other, maybe other software or whatever. So yeah, okay, uh, yeah, uh, like, favorite, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this technical. Uh, well, it's not really technical what I'm showing; it's more moaning and complaining about HRG. But uh, yeah, okay, that's it, guys. Well, see you guys in the next one.